quick video. I'm going to show you some Twitch bot stuff. Let's get started. Roll the intro. What's good, everybody? I am Rogue Ren. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, and today I'm going to be doing a quick little tutorial video for uh, the Twitch bot. If you haven't heard, there's been a lot of like hate raids going on where people will raid your channel and spam a bunch of really really beeped up stuff into your Twitch chat and you're responsible for that Beep. according to Twitch, which is still a terrible rule. I don't know why that's the case. This is going to be a way in order to prevent that from happening or prevent it from happening nearly as often by banning a bunch of those bots before they even get started. I'm going to show you how to do that on Linux. On Linux, you need to do a couple extra steps, which at the time that I did it were not clearly stated, but they actually are now. So I'm just going to show you how to do those things, how to install the necessary tools you need, and just a quick little easy video tutorial to make it a lot simpler. If you're on Windows, all you got to do is go to the link in the description, you download an exe file and you're done. You don't have to worry about anything else. But those of us on Linux, a couple more steps. I'm going to show you what those are and how to do them if you don't know how Linux works and or you're like new to it and you're wanting to be a streamer and you want to go ahead and set this up. So with that, let's jump over to the desktop and we will get to it. All right. So here we are over at the desktop. So we're going to go ahead and open up Firefox or Chrome or whatever browser you're using. We're going to jump on over to GitHub page, the GitHub page, specifically the one we need, which will be linked below. So here we are. This is the releases page for us on Linux. We're going to want the beta version. Uh, if you're on Windows, you may as well download the beta version. I can't speak today. Just go ahead and download it, get it over with. But you're going to want both the zip file and the twitchband.sh file. If you are on Windows, don't worry about the sh file. Just download the beta zip. It comes with an exe and that's all you need. So we're going to click on what we need to download and for the zip uh, file, I'm just going to go and I'm not going to bother saving it. I'm just going to open it. So you have in your archive manager, you have your these two files. There's the exe and the bandlist.txt. If you're on Windows, you need both of these. If you're on Linux, you only need, need the uh, bandlist. And then we're going to download the twitchband.sh. Now, I've already done this, so I already have both of these saved and ready to go. And they are in my uh, file manager. So once you have both of those, you're going to want to save them. Uh, Anywhere you want, they just need to both be in the same folder. So for me, if I go over to my programs folder, I have one called Twitch Bandbot right here. So I have the bandlist.txt and the twitchband.sh because I'm on Linux. If you are on Windows, instead of the twitchband.sh, you will have the twitchbandfromlist.exe. If you're on Windows, all you're going to have to do is go to your Twitch chat, which I have saved. And then all you do is that you're going to run the exe. You're going to click into your little text box and you're going to hit, I believe it's F12 and then it'll start working for those of us on Linux. We have a few more steps. So the first thing you're going to need to do is install an application called XDO tool. It lets you do a lot of script stuff and auto typing and those sort of things. Uh, so to do that, open up a terminal. You can either do a hotkey like what I have. I have a shortcut for super T, which is just the Windows button. If you don't know on Linux, the Windows button is called either the super key or the meta key, or you can search for it in your programs manager. So if I type in terminal, uh, I get my terminal, which is called console. And once it's opened up, you're just going to type in the following. It is going to be, how do I zoom this? Uh, let's see, control make this a bit bigger. There we are. It's going to be sudo apt install xdo tool. Now, I already have it installed. So when I run this, it's going to ask for my password and invalid. I typed install with three L's. There we go. It's going to say it's already installed because it's fine. It's already there. So once you have that installed, you're going to here's the part that's going to be a little bit more complicated. You are going to need to type. There's two things you can do. You can either go to your file browser, go to where your um, files are saved. I couldn't remember the word for a second. And then you can either right click open terminal here. And now you have a terminal in that location or you can do it. This is the more fancy technical way that makes you look smart, even though it's not really that smart. It just looks like it 
If you want to show off to people, this is how you do it. You type CD and then the, fo the folder, not the file, the folder where these files are. So for me, it is home slash programs slash twitch dash ban dash bot. And these file names or folder names are case sensitive. I enter that and now that's where I am. So easy ways to just open in your file browser, right click, open terminal here. Advanced show off the way is to do the CD command, which is change directory. So with that, I'm going to close that one. This one's all we need. All you have to do is now type. Oh, well, before that, um, with this uh, SH file, right click it, go to properties and make sure executable selected. Depending on your file browser, if you're using like GNOME and you have Nautilus, um, it may be under a different um, tab. I'm using KDE, so it's under the permissions. Just make sure is executable is um, checked. If you can't find where it is, you can do that through the terminal if you are in the folder by typing chmod plus x and then the name of the file, which would be twitchban.sh. And that will make it executable. The menu is a little easier to figure around with, but if you can't find it, you can type that in and that will let you do it without needing to find the right tab in that right click menu. And again, if you can't see it, I'm going to zoom it in a little bit. It is chmod plus x twitchban.sh. So the name of your file, which in this case is twitchban.sh. So once you have done that to actually run it and what it will ban this list of this list of usernames is what it is banning all the way down and then ban list end. You do not replace this one right here. If you want to add more names, add them in between the bottom and that ban list end. That's where you want to add more names. Now I'm not going to add any more names. I don't care to save this. At least I'm not going to add any more names yet. I may do it later. But now that you have XDO tools installed, you can now run this bash script to actually do the auto banning. So what you're going to do is do period forward slash and then the name of your .sh file. So twitch ban .sh. When you run this, you will have about five seconds to click into your field where you need to type this. So you're going to hit enter and you're going to click into the emote only into the chat, which I currently have set to emote only, but. And now it is automatically executing all of those codes and typing them all in. They're all going to already be banned because I've already done this on my channel, but it's just going to run through every single name in that list and automatically type slash ban and then the username over and over and over again. So it will ban all of these bots and just get them out of the way. So they literally cannot show up on your channel. This is a very useful tool. This is something I wish Twitch had done themselves, but actually I kind of prefer that someone else in the community did it and it's open source because it's just a script. So <laughs> it's very easy to do. And uh, unfortunately Linux does need a little bit uh, more extra work, which Thankfully, it is much better documented now. Initially, I couldn't find instructions for it, and I was just kind of, uh, how do I do? I had to search through their GitHub to find the bash script in order to do it because it was there. I just couldn't find where it was, um, but they've since updated it. They've listed that the prerequisite you need is XDO and all this other stuff. So I believe it is finished. Yes. So you can see it ran starting in five seconds. Every one of the lists has been banned. Typically, I would have this over on my other monitor, but you can't see my other monitor at the moment. And then you're done. That is it. So that's how you're going to run this ban script on Linux. It's a little, uh, little more extra steps. Hopefully you learned how to do that. And maybe you learned a couple other skills that you can use for other applications or other things that you're doing in Linux if you're wanting to learn it. Um, Linux is not that scary. It looks weird and it's different, but it's at the end of the day, the majority of what you're going to do on anything on whether it's Windows, whether it's Mac, whether it's Linux, whether it's Chrome OS, whether it's even Android are all going to be the same. You're going to open a store, you're going to download a thing and you're going to click to launch it. 
that's the majority of what you're doing. But that is going to be the end of this video. If you want to add more names to that ban list, remember, you just got to make sure you put it above that line that says ban list end. Otherwise, the script won't know when to stop running because it won't know that the list has ended. Um, if you put it after that, it'll stop running before it gets to those extra names because it's looking for that name ban list end in order to stop writing out names. So you want to make sure you put it above that last line. Other than that, it should be fairly simple in order to use it. And you can keep expanding this list. You can keep it updated and backed up so that you can always have a list of bots ready to ban if somehow they get unbanned by some exploit. I doubt that's going to happen, but if it ever happens, you'll have a way to ban them again very easily. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit like, hit subscribe to be updated when I post new videos and hit the bell to actually get notified of new videos because that's how YouTube works now. If you want to support my work, so check me out over on Patreon. Words are hard. This is great. I'm going to be starting hopefully this week. I will have videos posted a week early in advance. Um, I have like two videos. <laughs> I meant to try to get like six or seven videos ready and prepared in advance. And then this month I ended up being super busy and I only got like one extra video made. So hopefully within the next week or so that will be fixed and I can regularly post a week in advance over on Patreon. So if you want to see stuff early, check me out on Patreon. There's only like three tiers. Um, also, I need to rework the uh, rewards because some of the rewards don't apply anymore. Yeah, because a lot some of the rewards were related to a program I was developing and it doesn't exist anymore. But that's going to be it. Check you out over on twitch.tv slash it's rogue to see me play JRPGs live with a lot of them being running right on Linux on my computer, which is super cool. Uh, even though you see nothing behind the scenes and it just looks like I'm playing a game. I'm I'm great at this. I will see you all next time. Chat with me in the discord. Goodbye.